What do we got here? Oh, buddy. My engine stands are here. You know what that means. Yeah, I haven't put you guys back together yet. Let's get to it. Oh my. Decks. Now we'll get to it. Voila! Number one is done. What I tell you about having two boat engines? Two of everything. Yep. I won't make you watch this one. I want to see if the old uh, Millennial Farmer's trick works. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Now we just got to figure out how to get those guys on it here. I got to do a lot of work first. I got to take these. Mount them to the back side of both engines. And then we'll use Mr. Cherry Picker over here. Get him unfolded. And pick him up. But first things first, I gotta pick them up first and get these backing plates off. That's what I gotta do first. Should be fun. George. George. I don't know where George is. Okay, let's give you a time lapse. Who decided to show up? Yeah, this Joker. It's about time you're home. What the heck took so long? I had to go to six different places before I found the oil. <laughs> Jesus, you need oil that that's that's that specific. <laughs> the final store I went to I had it for a rebate for twenty dollars off, so I actually beat out all the online options. Hmm. That works. This guy. Had to get the exact oil for the Duramax. Box. Whoa. We got foam messed up. Look at this. That's for you. Well, not you, but you. GoPro. You know, I'm probably just gonna take out all this middle stuff. Anyway, that's enough of that. Come here. Look, all better. Okay, good night, good night. Bye bye. Yeah, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm just kidding, you guys are fine. Pretty neat. Okay, right now, I'm getting our cherry picker balancer, our straps bolted up to it, and then we're gonna put it on there because I have two loops on the engine that I can hook these U-bolts uh, through. So, that's what we're getting set up. Okay, got the chains hooked up. There she is. Now we gotta go over here, somehow balance you while we do all this. I need to get this jacked up first. 
Thanks, tight. Okay, let's try that first. That's really hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna set you down. Sorry. Sorry. This is scaring me. Hello! We have liftoff. What's a half ton? Thousand pounds? Yeah. We're okay. You know, it's not a small block, it's heavy. It's these dang cast manifolds. These cast manifolds are really heavy. Anyway, we'll get this guy jacked up and on to the stands. Now this is American steel right here. That is a big old Merc Cruiser 350. It's about a thousand pounds. Times two quantity dash dose. They know all about the two. I've complained to them many times that if you buy a boat with two engines, you buy two of everything. You heard it here first. Thanks for fun. Well, you know about these. They're going on those. Bada bing. Bada boom. This is my favorite tool in the shop. Hands down, favorite, best tool ever made. Milwaukee, three ace. Oh, it's an M12 fuel, three ace impact. It's a sweet, sweet device. Best tool in the shop, hands down. Well, we're gonna put these together. Got our dolly wheels here. 19 millimeter, nuts on the knot. Seven eighths on the bottom. We'll put that together. We'll do a little time lapse of this. Start it off. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so I got. How do you know it was in it? What will be what? Anyway, guys, so I got the bell housing off, and now I need to unbolt the hey. coupler. It's time. Oh, it is. It's that time of the evening. When beverages are being enjoyed, the Bud Light lime that's really faded comes on. But yeah, Bud Light sponsor us. I'd say the same thing for Miller, but you can't really see it. Maybe soon. Anyway, um, I got the bell housing cover off. I need to pull the coupler off the back here, and then, um, I think the flywheel's gotta come off. Yep, flywheel's gotta come off. Yeah, stay tuned. These small block Chevys are super easy to work on. But, oh, I do need some, some longer bolts here. I gotta get this bolt size to go through that length on the engine stand, so I'm gonna have to make a parts store run here in a second. But we'll get this taken care of at night, and looks like we're gearing up to do George's car in a second. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Okay. The rear. Are you blinking? Axel. You're blinking. Okay. Oh, look at that Pittsburgh Jack. Hey, made in Pittsburgh. Psych. <laughs> Pittsburgh, China. Here we go, come down. All right, there he goes. We are officially on dollies. Later yeah. on, them days. Wow, you're, you're so politically <laughs> correct. George deserves a Nobel Peace Prize for, what's the word we like to use at work? Um, inclusion. Oh, wow. These two are... Inclusion. I wonder if I in these, but these were fifty-two dollars for two. Those were in separate boxes, not in sets of two. So I don't know. It's a pretty good deal. Well, thank you, China. The cyclones on stilts. We got to move some things over on the wall. Chairs. Chairs and air compressor, and then we'll get this thing pushed in the corner so 
George can have his side of the shop, and then I'll have my little corner over here where I'll be doing engines and whatnot. Should be pretty cool. We should we should call this garage like the uh, small block Chevy garage only. Can you call this a small block Chevy? Well, it is a small block Chevy with two cylinders. Right. If you put two more cylinders here, it'd be a five seven three fifty. On the front side. Yes. Um, uh, I'd say we, there's a little bit of weight difference between this and that, but can we put boat headers on your no. cyclone? He's sure dust. Want the chair. You would think he doesn't take care of this thing. Hey, it's a collector piece. I do take care of it. I just uh, <laughs> didn't put the car cover on when I was working. Look at this. I'd like to take this time to uh, thank our comfort zone here. Brent or Grant or what's his name? See the link in the description. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, link in the description below. Comfort zone. It's been doing good. It's a 220. Don't ask how we got it in here. Don't ask our landlord. Yeah, don't ask our landlord. We don't we don't own this place. We rent it. But hey. Someday. Three mil plastic on the roof. No insulation. Detached two stall garage with a 220 heater. Pretty much on full bore all the time. And it is 70, 70, 70 degrees in here. Well, at least up here. If we measure down here, it's probably like 55 or 60, but it's good enough. Okay. Okay. Had to make a quick trip to the store, but got the matching three and a half inch bolts we need. And these guys fit great. Where are you? There you are. Fit great through there. And then, if I can get it, there we go. Thread nicely into the block. So now we'll get the coupler off, and we'll get the flywheel off, and we'll be in business. Well, I think, I think this should just pop off. We'll see. You guys see that? Hello. Not really. How about that? There's somebody's long black hair on this. And no, it's not mine. And this has been encased in a bell housing for the entire life of boat. Whose ever hair that was? That was like a 33 year old hair. Kind of gross. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the paint is flawless. I mean, it's, it's shiny. That's incredible. This thing's gonna look so good when I'm done. Oh, are you kidding me? You guys wanna see what just happened? This is why you don't use cheap duct tape. I had this box propped up. Why? Why? This is an 87 motor and it is just in incredible shape back here. I don't even know why I'm tearing it apart. Well, I do because oil pump and starter and alternator and for that I got to put it on an engine stand. It can't just hang here on the hoist and I want to paint some things and go through the intake manifolds and you get the point. Okay, we've been a little busy. We got the two mower decks moved out of the garage. This guy's about ready to go on its engine stand. Got that all bolted up with the grade eight, three and a half inch long. We're perfect for this. We'll see if I'm feeling like doing round two. I haven't had dinner yet, so. And we got Georgia Cyclone pushed into the corner. 
which is going to be sweet for space. And George just changed the oil on his truck. It's been a long night, folks. Who do you think the Chinese welders, the people that weld these stands and stuff together, who are they? And if they do a billion of these, then what? Wouldn't you think we'd get good at it at some point? Like, look at this. Look how bad this is. I mean, it's, it's welded all the inside, but there's splatters everywhere. Just don't get it. What do I smell? You're smelling uh, your brake clean oil and stuff. What do you smell? It's the bear. Hi, time. my name's Cowboy George, and I like to wrestle Coyotes. block Chevys. <laughs> nope. Here on the ranch, we like to chain them up, hook them up, <laughs> pull them out, rebuild them, put them back in. That's what we do here at the small block ranch. Merc, merc, mercathode. Mercathode. <laughs> One. Just... Two. Lift it off. Now you need help too. That's about all we can do. All right, there's one. She's up on the stand. Before I go to bed tonight, I'm gonna take the manifolds off, which should already be disconnected. I just gotta remove four bolts on each side and probably just lay them on the ground. So not so much weight is on this stand. I think the weight's fine, but just to be safe, um, it's not gonna hurt anything. That's a wrap for tonight, guys. I'm amped up. It should be a lot of fun. All right, guys, have a good night. See you later.